everybody, welcome back to the show. I am the Cigar Chingon and this is my tobacco journey. Today, I wanna to take a stab at doing a review for some tobacco that I got. Um, not, I don't really do reviews on average because it's just, it's not my thing. My palate, my palate isn't as exquisite as other people. You know, some people can taste like, uh, oh, redwood bark on an April morning with the dew and the ocean breeze. I'm not that guy. I'm not. What I did get was Peter Stokeby. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, Stokeby. Luxury Twist Flake Pipe Tobacco. In the description, uh, it says it's a pure Virginia blend from the best fields of Zimbabwe and the eastern United States. These leaves are hand rolled into a spun cake and then pressed and sliced. All right. Now, why did I particularly get this? I was watching a review from uh, Mr. Ireland off Smoking Pipe on YouTube, and his description really just piqued my curiosity. You know, um, I know with English blends, it's just, they're very strong, very distinct, and it's really hard not to, you know, get the flavors from them. Uh, he was talking about how sweet this was and the different notes and things like that. Like I said, it's kind of hard for me to catch great detail in, in some of these tobaccos. Um, sometimes I'll smoke a cigar and it tastes like dirt, you know, to be quite truthful. Um, every now and then, bark, leather, grass, things like that. Um, like in the uh, Candelas, I can definitely taste the tart, grassy, um, note off of those so but i wanted to try it and i did and i gotta tell you it leaves the room smelling great it's like a big i want to say caramel just aroma in the room so if somebody's not used to tobacco smoke it's pretty pleasant it's pleasant enough that they won't be bothered unless they're super touchy something like that but uh i've, I've been smoking it ever since i got it and i, I truly love it It's not tart, it's very mild, and it's, um, I wanna say a little bit of caramel, and maybe like a butt hair of cinnamon, you know? Just real, real faint. Very mild, I love it. And the aftertaste is, um, I don't know. It's just, it's very sweet. It's a very sweet tobacco, I really, really like it. Um, Not tart, not sour. I can only describe it as yellow. You know, like an off yellow, something like that. Um, don't get nasty. But uh, it's a very, very nice tobacco. Um, like I said, it leaves the room smelling great, very mild, and it's an all day smoke every day. Um, I got two ounces of it. They sell it in bulk. So I, I plan on getting a lot more uh, I'll get an extra big mason jar for it, probably. But uh, since it is in a roll, in a cake, uh, I do let it dry just a little bit so then I can smoke it. And otherwise, if it's too moist, you're gonna get your pipe overheated and it's just not gonna taste good and that tongue bite. So um, there's some tobaccos that I, I've tried where the tongue bite is just right there. And uh, even, even when I smoke them real gentle, there's still a tiny bit of tongue bite, and I don't know what's in the tobacco that's causing that, but, um, and then there's others that just go down smooth. So this is one of those that just happen to go smooth. Um, like I said, I'm kind of new to reviews. I really don't like doing them. Um, I'm not as eloquent as other people. And like I said, man, they can taste like fungus off an ant's leg, you know, in, in a December storm or something, you know, they're, they get really, you know what I mean? So, but give it a shot, give it a shot. It's the uh, Peter Stokebeck, Stokeby, excuse me. Luxury Twist Flake Pipe Tobacco. Really, really nice blend, it really is. And um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think in the comments, all right? I love this lighter, I really do. 
All right, folks, that's it. Till the next time we meet. If you guys have any questions, any comments, go ahead, leave them. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's been a pleasure. And always, do what you love. Peace. Shot. One, two, three.